20,000 teachers still demanding that they be paid what they're worth eight days now. They did negotiate a pay raise with the governor, but then the state Senate blocked it. ABC's David Curley on the ground tonight where classrooms are empty and teachers are holding firm. So many teachers descended on the state capitol, 5,000 in all. Police shut down access, leaving a line of teachers hoping to get inside and give lawmakers a piece of their mind. We have the support of the other public employees and the support of our superintendents, so we'll stay out as long as we need to. An eighth day of no school. There was a deal for a 5% raise. It was scuttled over the weekend when some lawmakers would only approve a 4% raise. So for another day, some of the 22,000 teachers here in West Virginia are here at the State House demanding action. This high school teacher driving three hours to get here again. We wanted this to be over, and it could have been over days ago. The strike has taken a toll on parents, too. Brenda Williams took her granddaughter, a second grader, to the mall. I've enjoyed them, but I'm sure their mom is about to go crazy <laughs> all great days, but I'm all for the teachers. Just down the street, all teachers could do was watch as lawmakers talked. So let's get to David Curley. He's live in the state capitol tonight. And David, I know lawmakers are meeting right now, but still having trouble coming to any sort of a deal here. They just broke up that meeting, David, and no deal whatsoever. School districts planning on canceling classes tomorrow, a ninth day without school. David Curley tonight. David, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.